So you are moving to Frisco, Texas, and you're buying a home and you're going to have kids or you already have kids and you're trying to figure out how to navigate the elementary school system. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything I know about how the Frisco ISD works with respect to elementary schools. This is the Dallas Life with Heather and James. I'm Heather, James is out with real estate clients right now. And we know all things about Frisco. We're Frisco fanatics and we are here to help you. So do me a favor, like this video and I'm gonna tell you everything that you wanna know. So stick around till the end and I will be sure to cover the gamut of elementary schools in Frisco ISD. So most important thing you can do when you're starting to look for houses cause you're moving here is come to the friscoisd.org website and you are going to plug in the addresses of the different homes you're looking at or the homes that you think you're gonna purchase on this page right here where it says new to Frisco ISD. If you scroll down to the zoning, find your campus. You can search by subdivision or by address. So I would say we would just search by address and you can plug that information in and see what schools you're going to be zoned for based on your address. Okay. So what's important to remember about the Frisco ISD elementary schools, let me show you the map with all of the schools. So there's a lot of elementary schools here in Frisco. There are a total of 43 at the moment. Okay. So this map shows you all of the different elementary schools. You're probably not as familiar yet with the Frisco area as I am. So do yourself a favor, call, text, email, reach out. If you want to talk to me personally about anything that I don't cover in this video, you want to go into detail, specific, specific information for yourself. We can get into that, but for the sake of everybody who's watching, these are going to be the different elementary schools in Frisco. Frisco schools are fantastic. You don't even have to send your kids to private school. They're that good. Um, but there's a lot of little quirks and things to kind of understand. And the first that I want to cover is with Frisco expanding so um, fast that some of the zoning is going to be changing on kind of a regular basis and some schools are at capacity. So three of the schools that are at capacity right now are number 39, which is Spears, number one, which is Allen Elementary, where my kids went and number 30 down here for some reason, which is called Riddle. With respect to Spears and Allen Elementary and Riddle, they are sending your kids to a different school right now information. So here it is. So if your kids go to Isabel, Spears, Allen, or Riddle, or if your house would be zoned for one of these four elementary schools, they're gonna be sent somewhere else. So that's because these schools are at capacity for the number of kids who are currently in that age range of K to fifth grade. Elementary schools go to fifth grade here. So if you're looking for a house and you plug your address in where I showed you and it tells you that your school is going to be Isabel, Spears, Allen or Riddle, they're at capacity and they're going to send your kids somewhere else. So Isabel's going to Tally Spears is going to be going to Shawnee Trail. Allen is going to be going to Vaughn and Riddle is going to be going to Smith. That means these schools are farther away than your house and they might be farther away than you really want your kids to be going if you needed them to be able to walk to school or get the bus, though they do say they're going to provide transportation. Um, my concern would be that your kids might already have friends in the neighborhood that they will make when you move here that are grandfathered into attending Alan Spears, Riddle and Isabel. And you're going to be the new kids in town and you're not going to be going to the schools in the neighborhood with all the other kids. I personally would not like that. I definitely, definitely would be looking for a house in a different 
area of Frisco that wasn't zoned for one of these four schools, if that was important to you, it would be important to me. Something to think about because it's hard to make friends in the neighborhood and go to school with different friends. And the reverse is also true. It would be hard for your kids to make friends in different neighborhoods. And then it's kind of a pain in the ass if you have to try to get them play dates and they're not in the backyard, so to speak. So um, I would look at that. Now, it depends also on what grade, but right now it says if your kid is entering K to fifth in the 2023 school year, they are going to be attending a different school than what your house would be zoned for. So going back to the school zone map right here. Um, and my kids did go to Allen Elementary, that which is the screen one. And three out of the four that we talked about are really big sections of land. If you look at number one, number 39, number 32, those are really big sections of land, which for whatever reason, um, in the past, the schools weren't at capacity. That's why they were zoned that big. Most likely, I know with Allen Elementary and with Spears, a lot of the public shopping centers and the business stuff is located in those areas. So they're taking up a lot of the space. It's not all home. So, you know, like the star, um, some of these bigger um, mixed use entertainment areas um, are going to be also in that that area. So that's why they have a bigger piece of land for the elementary school, because there's not as many houses per that amount of space, so to speak. So I would definitely be making sure I knew the house I was going to buy was probably not zoned for one of those four schools right now. And they're great schools. We loved Allen Elementary. So I'll note, note that. The other thing is they do have transfers in the district. You do have to apply for them. Before we moved to Frisco, we were in Plano ISD. We loved it, but we did get a transfer to a different elementary school from the one we were zoned for. The reason for that was we moved here from California in 2008. And for whatever reason, we didn't have somebody like me and James to help guide us on this navigating our relocation. And we had some realtor that knew nothing about us. She didn't have kids herself. She didn't know what our needs would be. And we didn't know to think about what our needs would be. So we bought a house in Plano that was not um, zoned for the school that all of our friends' kids were going to. So we got a transfer to send our kids to a different elementary school than what we were zoned for. And it was okay, except they didn't grandfather siblings. So my first one got in. And then when my second one was going to go, they had closed for transfers. So now I was looking at my kids being in two different schools. We managed to pull off that transfer for my younger one after school started that year, but we then weren't zoned for the middle school that everyone from our elementary school was going to. The middle school was closed for transfers that year. So now we were looking at sending our kids to a different middle school that we weren't crazy about and they wouldn't know anybody there anyways. So these are some of the things to consider when you're looking at getting transfers. You can get them if they're available and if you manage to get a lottery number, but they sometimes don't grandfather siblings if you're having kids come up behind them. And then they also don't grandfather the feeder schools. So the feeder school map is going to show you what elementary schools feed into what middle schools, what middle schools feed into. Here it is, feeder patterns. So if you look at this on the friscoisd.org, you'll see the high schools on the left, the middle schools are in the center, and then the elementaries are on the right. And you can kind of see what middle schools, elementary schools, and high schools stay together. It may or may not be important to you. I mean, you as the adult picking your house for your reasons and your needs will probably take priority. But when it comes to elementary school age kids, you know, they're sensitive to all, all of this stuff. They're they're young and they're they want to be um, secure and feel comfortable. So I know for my kids, while I'm not a helicopter parent, it was important to me that um, my kids were in the same school as the kids in the neighborhood and that they would go on to the next school together and it would just make life easier. So something to think about when you're looking at the elementary schools. I've mentioned in one of our other videos that we did on schools, which, you know, we have a uh, playlist on, on the schools you can go to and see all of our videos on schools, that um, the Frisco schools stagger the buses between elementary, middle and high school. They share the buses. So elementary school starts pretty early and it could be different for each school but i don't think it is i think that they're all pretty much around the same time and that's going to be about 7 45 a.m is when they'll start 
whereas middle school will start at about 8.20 and high school will start at about nine o'clock. That's because they're gonna use the same buses to run elementary school kids and middle school kids and high school kids and then the same in the reverse. So that's something to think about as well. When you plug your address into the little area I showed you, search your address right here, um, you're gonna see if you qualify for the bus. That is something that's really important to look at. I know it's on here somewhere because um, you want to know if you can look by subdivision right here. So in Frisco, this, the uh, schools go by subdivision for the most part. So you can find where your house might be, and then you can also figure out from there if you're going to be able to get the bus. That's because you have to be far enough away to qualify for the bus, but not too close to walk. So that has kind of that was an issue for us um, actually in high school in uh, ninth and tenth grade before my daughter who's now 16 and an 11th drove she couldn't get to high school because it was too far to walk and we didn't qualify for a bus not that she probably would have taken it anyways but um that was a little bit about kind of our experience with elementary school my kids took the bus and they loved it and um it was really easy which is another thing about the elementary schools i noticed in plano there was a lot more I would say that the helicopter parents that would want to like walk up to the school door and drop their kid off and pick their kid up after school. There was a lot more congregation. I don't see that at all in Frisco. You run carpool in your car. You do not walk up to the front door and drop off a kid or pick up a kid. I don't know how they managed to get this many cars in that fast in a 10 minute period, a couple hundred. And it's like, boom, 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 boom. They know what they're doing. It moves really quickly. I am very impressed by the way Frisco handles getting the kids in and out of the car and how fast carpool moves. So you don't have to go 30 minutes or an hour early to get in line to get your kid. You just don't have to. It rolls really fast if you don't take the bus and you drive your kids. So a little bit about the elementary schools that um, I think you guys will find useful when you're looking for houses. It's important to go to this Frisco ISD website and really dig through the material and understand what the boundaries are for the different housing developments for the different schools, if you can get the bus or not, if that's something you need, if the elementary school you'd be zoned for is a capacity, and if your kid would be going kind of farther away to a different school, if that's convenient, inconvenient, what that looks like for their friendships in the neighborhood and at school and outside of school. So again, this is the Dallas Life with Heather and James. I am Heather, we are relocation specialists. We would love to help you, whether you wanna use us for your real estate needs or not is up to you. We will absolutely talk to you for free, answer your questions, help guide you and direct you. If you do me a favor, please like this video. It means the world to us. And if you want to know when our new videos come out, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And we hope to speak from you soon. Bye-bye.